This Raw Vision video is brought to you by Metro Solar, proud partner of the Richmond Football Club. Peter, thanks for joining us on Raw Vision, thanks to Metro Solar. We're going to start off with some disappointing news uh, to start off with. Nathan Foley needed surgery recently. Yeah, Axel uh, had a bit of an issue with his plantar fascia in the bottom of his foot. Um, so he needed a small release done to, to help alleviate that. Um, should only be reasonably short term though. We're thinking uh, somewhere around the six week mark, but um, we'll see how he goes. Knowing Axel, super positive athlete, so I'm sure his recovery will be quicker than most. Matt Dee's also been in the rehab group for a little while now. How's his progress going? Um, yeah, Diesel's going well. Had a little interruption a couple of weeks back with a, with a kicking related hamstring injury. Um, we're, so we're taking a really cautious approach, um, given they're a little different to a typical running hamstring injury. Um, but he's doing a fair bit of conditioning and has, hasn't actually missed a lot of conditioning. It's just managing uh, his kicking program back into the group. So we expect him to be back in, in the next couple of weeks. Corey Ellis, also one that had some minor surgery and has been getting close to full training. How's his progress going? Yeah, Corey's pretty much resumed full training this week. Um, he's had a, a very steady progression being a first year player and given the surgery he had and how much he'd missed. Um, but we should see him uh, hopefully in the uh, practice matches for the, the VFL in a couple of weeks. But it's really exciting to see a young player with his, his ability come back into training. Does he have to do some extra work? Does he, does he do some stuff off the side just to be able to get him ready for the start of the season? Uh, not so much extra work. Uh, in the rehab group they get smashed. I mean the guys get plenty of work. Our, our rehab guys work them extremely hard. So usually when those athletes come back into our group they're actually ready to go above and beyond what the group's doing. We always make sure that uh, whatever you can handle in rehab is above what re is required in the game. And with a player like that, a young player in his first year, is it important not to rush them back too soon? Yeah, you don't want to rush him back. A uh, young player, 18 years of age, with a reasonably serious injury, uh, hadn't trained or played since August last year, so we're always going to take our time with it, do the right thing by him coming into a new club and just um, teach him a bit of patience. Um, he's got a long career ahead, you know, a 10 year plus player, so uh, there's no rush to get someone like that back in too soon. Trent Cochin and Brett Deledio, two players who have had their programs monitored a little bit, uh, how are they tracking at the moment? Yeah, Lids is no issue, um, and really there was never any issue there. It's just something that with his history with Achilles, we decided a bit of a change of approach with his um, management um, over the pre-season. He was still able to do a lot of work at high intensity. It's just how many sessions a week that we, we did monitor with him. Um, and he's going really well, so he's available to play this weekend. So Trent's on a managed program. He's uh, doing a lot of conditioning. He hasn't missed anything. Um, he's doing a fair bit to the side of the group. He's also doing a bit with the group. Um, it's really just a management program. Make sure he's right for round one um, and hopefully we'll see him in the next two weeks in the NAB series. Just finally there's a couple of weeks left to the season actually starts is it a nervous time for the fitness staff just to make sure that everything goes smooth leading into that Carlton game? No not really we're, we're pretty confident with where our boys are at um, if you're nervous and you're worried about something but uh, we're absolutely fine and we're really looking forward to the season. Thanks for your time mate. No worries.